Hey everybody, I'm Zelda Master and welcome back to Zelda Like. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Kimiko, which has been recommended to me by a couple of my friends, uh, with it being very Zelda-like. So I'm excited to check out this game, especially since this is one of the few eShop Nintendo Switch games that you can play. And pretty much any game on the Nintendo Switch is exciting because you could take it with you on the go. So yeah, this is about $6 on the eShop, you know, an indie title by Fly High Works, and it came out in... This year, of course, uh, as you can tell, has a retro style like a lot of other indie games. Obviously, it's cheaper to do so and easier. And overall, I appreciate it. I love retro looking games. I get really nostalgic and the sprite work and everything looks so beautiful for this game. Not much animation going on, like the clouds or anything isn't really moving. But you can see a little waterfall in the corner animated. But that's about it. So yeah, we have this blue haired girl with a sword. I'm assuming we're going to be playing as her. I don't know if she's... Kimiko. I don't really know what Kimiko stands for, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and play this. So, all right, data one. I guess it doesn't really matter which we choose, but oh, okay. Wait, what the heck? Player select. Whoa, this is sick. We can choose any player we want to play as. That's actually really cool. So uh, already there's replay value for this game, I'm assuming, unless each player has its own unique story. And already looking at the players, they all look unique with different weapons. We got Yamato uh, standing on a water platform with a, I wanna say two-handed sword, which I'm more than down to try. And then we got uh, Yuzumi, which uh, she seems to have a, you know, bow. And I really like the hood she's wearing, the green, Link-like hood, and I feel like it fits for Zelda like to play as her. She kind of reminds me of Linkle with the hood, and then obviously the bow being similar to the crossbow that Linkle has. And last but not least, we have Hanomi, and she has a sword and shield. Dang, that's actually, they all have cool weapons. I wish you could play as one that has all of them, and you could swap between them. Maybe you can. I don't really know what's in store for this game. I don't know if the story changes depending on which character I choose, but we're going to go ahead and choose Yuzumi because, I mean, it's Zelda-like, and we want to kind of get the Zelda experience. Plus, the bow sounds cool. Like, as much as I like playing, you know, with a sword and slashing through my foes, I think it'd be fun to try a bow. She might have a sword, we have no idea, but, oh, child of transient world. Abrupt though this may be, thou art summoned now to the realm of the dead. What's going on, okay? Uh, thou should know that the gate connecting thine, transient world, and our realm of the dead have been sealed by demons. Uh, if this goes on thine, transient world will become ruled by said demons. Okay, simple plot. I mean, I don't really care. I understand, and wait, what were you gonna be getting? Uh, before you say Imperial Regalia, hey, is, is that a car? A Stupid Final Fantasy joke, but um, this weapon has been granted to you by thou because among us the shrine maidens, you hold a special power. All right, and oh, a tear is falling onto us, and wow, okay, so she looks like a little sprite in the character select thing, but yeah, hear my words, oh child of the transient realm. Become the Kamiko. Oh, okay, that's a title. Maybe that means the hero or something uh, who will vanquish the de the demons and release the seal on the gate between worlds. All right, here we go. So, assuming we're gonna be thrown right into the world of the dead, this is it. The Forest of Awakening. Heck yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, enemies. Wait. Okay, let's figure out how to first. Wait, this is switch. Oh, it's already a switch. All right, I'm liking this. I'm getting a Zelda vibe. You're pressing a switch, opening a door. That's cool. But all right, what is? Oh, that's how you run, um, and then that's how you shoot, and that's it. <laughs> Wait, really? There's no other buttons, and you can pause. It seems, yeah. Uh, all right, that's cool. So let's do this. I don't know if maybe the bow is the best to play in a top-down game because I have to. Oh no! Wait, can I shoot rapidly? Let's do that. Oh, just shoot. Whoa, 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 that's a combo. Wait, one, two, three. I like that. And what are the, oh, these are HP. Okay, I got it. So maybe I shouldn't grab these yet because I might need them later on unless they despawn. I don't know, but this music is so nice. The little particles on the, oh, and the sunlight too that's coming from the side. That's all really nice. It adds like more to what the sprite work already has. Like we have sprites, it's all retro and it looks still nice because it's in HD and everything, but on top of it, we have like cool effects. And it kind of reminds me of 3D.GameHero, which we played on Zelda-like as well. But whoa, so many enemies. Luckily, we could just do that. Just charge and shoot. And we get combos too. I don't know what the combos mean. 
Uh, but we're picking up an XP. Is this the XP? See, I need... Oh, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go along. It shouldn't be that complicated, obviously. I mean, it seems very retro-like, so I feel like we'll be able to pick things up as we go along, but... Okay, it seems like we have to... Oh, okay, there's a block here. Can I push it? Oh, you can! <gasps> and it just flies right into place? I'll take it. And just like that, oh, to get a chest. See, I'm liking this. This does feel very Zelda-like, except uh, the, the combat seems a little more fun with how quickly you can vanquish enemies. So I'm liking that. What, this, I feel like we have to take it over to maybe this? Wait, uh-oh, so many enemies. Does he respawn? Oh, it worked! <gasps> Okay, so we just have to find the second one. This is, yeah, this is pretty straightforward. I'm enjoying this. And it looks like she has like a headset on or something. I can't really tell if it's based off of it. I didn't really look too much at the uh, sprite work when selecting characters. The, all, the three characters look pretty well designed, but should have maybe paid a little more attention to uh, Azumi is her name. This is the one I'm playing as at least. But this is so sick, man. Just shooting everything. I never played a game where, it, like, a top down retro style game where it's just only shooting, no hack and slash. That plays like this at least. But alright, what's this? Oh? What? Wait. Okay, so we lit one of the four beacons saved. Oh, nice. What does this take us to? Oh, it just saves. The, the, the saving sound effect is so weird. Wait, how do I do that again? Can I save again? Save. No! Eh, there we go. Oh, you have to, like, look up, it seems. You can't look down. That's kind of weird. All right, whatever. Let's go. We saved. We're good to go. We got some HP that I think I picked up. I don't even know if I was missing HP, but all right. Um, let's go ahead and wait for this. And then run. Whoa! Okay, so every... What, what the frick? Every enemy respawns? All the time this is... Okay, this is Zelda-like. You know, instead of the screens transitioning from one area to another, uh, as, as soon as you leave the area, they're just gonna come back. I don't mind it if this is actually giving me EXP, but I can't tell. Like, I'm hitting 200 again. What? Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll figure this out. Actually, I wonder what happens if I hold my bow. <gasps> oh! Okay. Let's let it go. And what the frick? That was amazing, and it all comes back to me. Oh, and that's what consumed the combo. Okay, you know what? I figured it out. So it seems like this is like our energy, and we can only hold up to 200. Interesting. Let's use, oh, 50, yeah, okay. Wow, this is, okay, it, it's adding up now. <laughs> this is the only problem about playing the game for the first time. Clearly, I don't know what's going on. Let's avoid ev whoa, okay, I thought I was locked in here. This didn't even take me to where I need to go. Okay, should I place down the key? No, no, no! Wait, what happened to the key? Is it, oh, the chest closed again. Okay, so at least the key remains. Like, I can pick it up again, but I might have to consume 50 uh, combo power again, it seems. Yeah, probably, because we're getting them so easy. But, oh, oh, yeah, I just realized I should hit this beacon banner thing, get the curse away from it, and now we're good. As you can see, another thing has been linked up. All right, cool. I'm assuming uh, Yuzumi, no matter what, she starts in the forest because she's the forest type character, maybe? That'd be cool if each character starts in a different area. Um, thing is, I don't know, and I, I, it makes me want to try out some of the other characters. We might end up doing that. We'll see. Um, but either way, this seems pretty linear thus far. This might be the tutorial, but I'm hoping it has a more open world charm to it than... Um, what it already- whoa! What it already seems like. This guy could shoot stuff too? That's crazy. Alright. We'll just keep going. Oh crap, more enemies. You have to be, yeah, really careful because four hits and I'm dead and I haven't really been trying too hard, but I mean, I don't want to play recklessly. Okay, never mind. We got stuff in- <gasps> aha! This is where I'm gonna need the key. So hopefully the enemies don't- okay, well they are gonna respawn regardless of the case, so we gotta go! Okay, can I run? No, you can't dash while holding anything. Please don't spawn on me. Of course you did. Okay, no, around him. Okay, nice. We are able to maneuver quickly, avoid the enemies, and get by. This music is so, like, upbeat and nice. I'm enjoying it a lot. I love the whole uh, old school style music as well. Everything about it, I think it's just, yeah, it's, um, it's nostalgic in a sense, and that alone already makes it so entertaining. So wait, oh, we can go through. I was gonna say this looked weird different than the other trees. So this is kind of like a Link to the Past type thing, because I remember Link to the Past had a lot of this as well. That's so cool, and aha, it was a secret banner thingy. So, uh-oh, of course, enemies, the second you walk near the area, they just come in. It's kind of scary, but we're doing fine. 
Actually, we're, we're, this is pretty straightforward, if anything. Like, as you can see, we've gotten that. So, there's a chest over here. And let me guess. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. Wait, so how do I get that chest? That's cool, though. There is a chest over there. But I have no idea. Maybe I can get a shortcut through here. No. How would I even get to the, the, the thing I'm linking? I'm missing one. Maybe when I open it, it will open up to me or link me to it. I have, I honestly don't know where we're going with this. I thought this was going to be an open world uh, RPG like game. This looks more linear. Maybe it's level based. And if it is level based, I don't mind it. I just like the open world, you know, um, aspect. But it doesn't seem like it will be. Especially since we're not getting EXP and money or anything. It looks like we're just getting combos. That's like our main... Uh, ingredient to do things but okay how do I get that chest maybe you can't get it now or maybe I can oh, oh okay let me go through here again wait this is a different oh this is a different one that's cool okay wait can I get this no I'm liking this part though the vibe is cool with um the, you know the trees blocking you and everything it just reminds me so much of a link to the past right now I'm liking this a lot but aha we found a secret my friends and it is Oh, did that give us more combo power? I don't understand. It looked like it increased our blue meter. It might have. I think it did. So there's upgrades too. That's good to know. Uh, there's another chest here though. Oh, and it gives us a second orb? That's kind of, whoa, that's kind of random. I wasn't even looking for it. It's a good thing we stumbled upon it because imagine if I didn't come here, I would have been running around in circles. Oh no, what? Even this falls, so you have to go all the way back. Okay. I guess that's the challenge at hand. Makes sense. I'm not going to complain, but I'm also going to kind of complain. I mean, that's kind of dumb, right? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I'm excited. I'm just excited to see, like, what else is in store for this game. I have a feeling there's going to be a boss once I set this in, or... I don't know. I'm already predicting maybe a little too much. We're going to chill, because I thought this was an open-world RPG. I did not think it was going to end up like this. It's not that I mind it, of course, but... Um, I don't know, I thought it was going to be a l just a little different with with how it looks. It's, it's cool, though, because, like, I'm, I don't even look up these games. Since they're so cheap on the eShop, I'm just like, you know what, screw it. I'll get it and just try it out for the first time kind of blind. And just kind of hear what other people tell me about the game. And from what I've been told, it has a Zelda charm, too. And I'm getting it. I think it's just mainly, like, the old-school Zelda games. It kind of reminds me of even 3D.GameHero. I love the little shake when you hit enemy that... Yeah, that... I believe in the start menu... Oh, yeah, Quake Effect off. Let's see. Let's see how lame it feels. Wow. We need... Wait, time display? Are you timed? Oh, no, it shows you how long... You've been uh, taking on level four. That's cool. Okay, so it is definitely uh, world based. We're just gonna take on world after world in a linear fashion. Whoa. So, okay, so this is where I was linking everything, it seems. Um, I'm missing one, though. So I'm assuming since I can already walk here. Whoa. I can. It might, must be up here. And aha, another secret chest. I must get you some way, somehow. Is it over there, probably? Or maybe it's up here. Uh oh. Okay, I'll figure this out. Let me just quickly kill this guy because that guy can shoot stuff at me. And we are losing some HP, so I would like to heal if I can find any uh, healing thingies. It seems like when I want some. Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say when I want some, I don't find any. But the game, the game heard me. All right, aha! I found the secret for it. Nice. So we're gonna hit this guy. Run in here. Open this. This might be. A... We don't. We don't need another blue orb. <gasps> More HP. Heck yeah! That's amazing. Okay, so we can also find a loot. See, this makes me really want to investigate every world. I'm probably going to play the crap out of this after this video. Um, this actually looks kind of fun. It's it's <laughs> it's kind of charming. I just really like... I, I think I'm a huge fan of just generally old school indie looking games because I love that retro feel. And yeah, it could mainly be the nostalgia that's making me love these style games. But I don't know. I just think they're overall really fun. Straight to the point. It's just a video game. Um, and yeah, I just enjoy it a lot as is. This reminds me a lot of 3D ga dot game here, which I played a lot of. I haven't beaten yet, but I should get back to that. I just haven't been playing my PS3 as much. But uh, the Switch, yeah, now that I can take this with me anywhere, I'm probably going to continue playing it um, as I go along. But yeah, if you guys do have other Zelda recommendation type games, let me know. I know these games don't scream Zelda, but they have similar 
vibes to it and I feel like you know there's just so many games out there that it's just nice to like try out other stuff you know instead of just stay stuck to one franchise coming from me right <laughs> Zelda Master, but no, I definitely plan on branching out. Like, games like Okami, which I'm sure a lot of people consider it to be Zelda-like, I will eventually do a full Let's Play on the channel. Actually, there's an HD version of it for the PS4 that's coming out. I have the PS3 version, I beat that, but I would rather play it on the PS4, so I'm excited. Plus, you guys could play it if you have a PS4, instead of having to get a PS3 or whatever it may be. But okay, so there's no music here. We left the main area, which seemed obvious, and... Wait, what? Okay. Oh, we picked up both. We picked up one of each. This is kind of weird. No music. It was, the music was like super nice at one point. But um, since I am missing HP and I, I'd rather have more HP, we're gonna pick up more HP. So yeah, please heal me. No heal. It's a joke. Okay, I guess not. I mean, we technically have as much HP as we started off the game with. So you know, we'll do this evenly. Can I pick up this? Or can you only pick up one? Oh, you can pick up both. I'm like, what is this, Breath of the Wild? I got stamina or hearts. That was so dumb. I would have left one. Okay, good thing I picked up both of them. Now. A boss. Okay, let's do this. Oh, wait. What? Goda? Is that you? What is this freaking... Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was gonna... It looks kind of like it. So, let's start off by killing these... Whoa. These little shrooms that are respawning. What? Okay, let me hit him. Oh, oh, he lit a switch. What? Do I have to have a minute again? What the frick? What do I do? These things are constantly respawning. Okay, wait, give me a second. I'm, I'm, I'm not that dumb. I can figure this out. Um, It's not hurting him, though. And even when he stops. Okay, jump. Oh, uh, he's jumping back there. Wait a second. So is he literally just going to jump and shoot? All right, here, come here. Come here, Mario. All right. Oh, okay. Wait, I can li Oh, no, I can't light him. I think he has to hit him with all that force. Okay, run. Send here, I think. Oh, okay, now what? Oh, 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 okay, hit him. Wait, what? It's not hurting him. Oh, his eye. Okay, let's go. Oh, there we go. All right, okay, I got this. I got this. So you don't even have to attack these mushrooms. I think these are for combos. Wait a second. Okay, I got an idea. Well, I mean, I got an idea, but I have to not get hit again. This is so bad. I'm going to die. I'm going to die this soon from the first boss. But it's mainly because I was already missing HP, guys. All right, let's try this, though. Uh, and shoot. Oh, yeah, that looked so sick. But it didn't give me the HP I wanted. Um, Uh-oh. Okay. Jump on me. Uh! Okay. Oh god, he's moving really quick now. I think maybe this is the last phase. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Alright, I feel the blue energy coursing through me. Uh, and unleash! No, he's gonna hit Okay, it hit him. And it Oh it killed him. Nice. That was so cool. I love the blue arrows that just control itself when you just attack. I get way too into it sometimes. But, okay, there we go, we beat it. And uh, looking at her, she does have a headset. I was really curious. But stage clear, took us 12 minutes. I'm assuming that's, de that's decent for your first try. I mean, I doubt they want you to do it under 10 minutes. But, all right, that was actually really fun. Um, Please tell me that was your tutorial. No! Yeah, the sunken relic. So, it looks like... Oh, and I'm still missing HP. We're just going to continue on. Oh, man. This is this ain't no good. I want to save. I don't know how to save. Crap. This is so sick, though. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's at least get one of the main beacons, if there is. I don't know the structure of this level. Let's just, okay, let's just explore. There's rain, though, which is so sick. Uh, you know... Oh, man, I just love seeing the atmosphere change in sprite work games. Just because... I don't, it's so fascinating to me, but okay. I don't want to get hit. Let's hit the switch though. And ooh, where will this take me? Oh, it literally teleports us. Oh, okay, nice. And uh oh, enemies. I don't think we can do anything here yet. It looks like this will be another teleportation device if I activate whatever this is. 
which I can't do. And I just realized A is also B. Oh, wait, A is, is the same button as Y. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna need a key up here. Uh, I really want to try out the other characters, but we'll at least make it to some sort of point where I know I'm actually progressing in this area because I mean it's it would be nice to check out I don't want to only show off part of or one level and not show off any of this one I'd like to see what it has to offer so all right we checked every path this has to be the pathway because I mean every single pathway has failed or at least has led us to some sort of dead end where we need to come back later on for wish you could like maybe jump in the water and or check what is this a building it looks I guess it is a building okay let's pick up this all right, so we're back at full HP. We should not even gonna fight these guys because they keep respawning, and we almost actually you know let's let's just stop at uh, 250 so we can open up any chest, and then once we have that, we're good. So there we go, man. It's so satisfying. Oh, okay, nice. It's so satisfying to get that. You know what is it called? The quake effect. Where the screen rumbles every time you hit someone. But okay. Oh, we sit. This will save for us. And yeah, okay, it's four as well. I assumed it was four. I, I thought they would add more to it because we are advancing but that's fine so all right let's go ahead and just hit these i might exit let me just see what this will lead me to because it seems like we're going in a good fashion all right this will open up that which i'm assuming was a shortcut because i tried to head down here and this should give us something let's uh hope it's decent oh oh wait a second this is not orange do i have to go to that orange thing you know what that's probably what i need to do so we need to take this with us, but I can't get hit because it seems like in this game, if you get touched by an enemy, it just drops. That's kind of lame. All right. You know what? I'm going to attempt it just to answer my question because I'm rather curious, but it kind of sucks that this might take us a couple attempts because <laughs> of the enemies. And also we have to kill more enemies every time to get more uh, combo XP or whatever. Okay, whatever. Let's just go. Don't smile at me, guys. Come on. I should have left one. I could have done the Zelda 1 trick where you leave one alive. That way they don't respawn. I don't know if that actually works, but uh, it'd be cool to try. But okay, wait. Pl place it. Yes. Whoa, this is light. Thank God I did this. This is so sick. And the freaking thing. I thought we were going to open a teleportation thing right now. Or are we? No. Okay, never mind. Let's leave. Alright, I gotta see what what lies ahead. This this is pretty sick. <laughs> I like how I keep saying, oh, let me quit to show off the other characters so I can really display it. But I'm actually getting way too into this myself. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's just keep running. No, no. Get out of here. Okay. Aha. So we're at the center. Alright, you know what? Next beacon I find, I'm just gonna save. And we're gonna see if we can swap maybe characters, play as a different one. Or if they have different story plots to them. That'd be more exciting. But whoa, 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 whoa. These guys are pretty aggressive. As you can see, they go straight for you if they see you. That's interesting. Different types of enemies with different AI. I like that. I mean, it should be obvious that way we'd ha that we'd have something like that, but you know, still interesting. And oh, the level design is pretty interesting for this. Oh, and it's time though. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How does this work? What? All right. Well, first off. Let's just open this all up. I doubt this is gonna be as easy as it seems. Also, whoa, does this bubble even hurt me? I don't even know, but okay, let's just try again. Okay. That's, that's a very far away. We have to go all the way down and then across the whole bridge. Unless getting on the bridge. Wow, you. You reach it perfectly. That is insane. <laughs> Unless it like literally lasted for. Okay, I don't want to waste more of this. So let me just try to maneuver around you guys. I'm just gonna wing it. Where is this taking me? What? What am I gonna do with this key? Okay, there's a lot of carrying. It's crap. Well, let's, let's figure out what we need to do with the key. <laughs> what the heck was that? Is there like a locked door up here? Because I would like to get another checkpoint and save all of this progress. Or I can run down to the save checkpoint thingy to begin with because I'm going to die. Uh-oh. You know what? Let's, let's just head back. I don't want to die. What happens when you die? Do you spawn it in, in immediately back? I doubt it. 
I should have saved, right? Watch it still be raining. Cause, yep, wow. Wow. I was right, huh? That is very interesting. I got it wrong some way, somehow. Well, I didn't really get it wrong, I just died. You know what, that's fine. Okay, we, we get it. So, there's, there's a lot more to this level. It was pretty fun, but I'm gonna go ahead and end off here. Let's go ahead and return to the title and see if maybe we can continue. Let me just try to continue. Play. Oh, it, oh, there might be three different stories. Or maybe you have to play through the game three different times. Please tell me. Oh, you can change your character. Sweet. So, I don't have to start a new file. So, I bet you the way this works is, yeah, you should play with whoever you want. All right, we're gonna do... Uh, oh, no, never mind. They all have their own story. Wait, but they might start out in different areas. So it's gonna be hype. All right, so yeah, so we should get the, um, the magic power. Obviously hers is gonna be a dual-handed weapon, and, or a, a, a double-handed weapon, and, <gasps> there it is, the sword, woo! <laughs> okay, I, I don't know why I thought her slashes were gonna be like, literally 3D dot game hero. Some giant sword's just gonna come out. But this is still cool. She's fast pace. Uh, let's hit the switch. You know, I'm gonna try out her combo attack and uh, Just kind of mess around. I'm not gonna try to beat wait. I, yeah, cuz this is the same level. So yeah, it's fine I was hoping that they would have different levels, but sadly they don't um, Makes sense though. Maybe I don't know cuz it looks like her combat is so much different That's gonna be way more difficult. So it does have replay value to the game itself with each character, but okay. Oh What's this? Standing like with both of her hands out. Oh, oh, look at that. I'm a Beyblade. That was amazing. Okay, wait, let me do that again. Woo! <laughs> that is sick, and it just takes away from your combo meter. All right, nice. I'm assuming that's everything she has. Does she have like a nah, nice strike attack? Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna leave uh, as this character. And we're gonna go ahead and try out. Oh, and it's literally adding it to our profile, so that's interesting. Okay, last one. And it shows, it even saves that we somehow started as her. And it's showing, I guess, the level, the HP amount, and the SP. Yeah, so there's not really much to this game. It seems very straightforward, and every single one has the same intro. <laughs> but, oh, wait, do they have different uh, wording to it? Slightly, I guess. But it obviously does the same thing. She gets blessed and must become the Kimiko of the people. Okay, so the Forest of Awakening once again, so. Am I like Captain America? What? What? What is this? This is my shield? Okay, wait. She goes from... Okay, that makes sense. Huh. I don't know if I'm a fan of this. See, I thought we would have a two-handed weapon and then a one-handed weapon for her, but she throws something and then she's like, oh, then let me attack after. This does not seem fun. It seems really complicated. You know, let's, let's try it on some enemies. Let's give her the benefit of that. It's weird how my favorite one was the archer. Like, I only picked her because she looked like Link, but surprisingly, Azumi is, uh, yeah, my favorite. It's a good thing we started off as her. Cause maybe I wouldn't be so fascinated with this game if I didn't start, I don't know. This is fun still, but yeah, it's way more slow paced. And I mean, I don't know. It's interesting though, the way the shield just kind of gets thrown and comes back. <laughs> if I didn't kind of like start, a boomerang I don't know. This is fun still, but yeah, it's okay. way so more kind slow of get used to like hitting enemies. If and, you don't hit them like this, I you mean, bam on the way back. So it's an interesting way to fight. And when the shield is out, it seems like she'll only do a quick stab. Okay. So that's it for the move sets. I wonder if, um... You know what? I think we're just gonna back. We, I, I really thought playing each character was gonna change up the game a lot, but it doesn't, sadly. And, uh, Zumi is gonna be the one to pick. So, we're gonna go ahead and re-attempt at least get one more banner, and then I'll, I, I'll kind of end it off. I think we got a general gist of what this game is about, but, um... I can't, I can't leave it off with a death. We gotta actually do this. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm probably gonna try to beat this off screen. Cause with Zelda like, obviously I'm not gonna do a series of it. Maybe for some games I'll come back and do a series, but I don't know about this one. I'd say the only few I would do that I've done a Zelda like on is like Rhyme. I, I might come back and live stream it. And then, not 3 d game here, screw that. 
or um freaking <laughs> legend of katsukari that is the definition of don't do every zelda like blind but that's the point of the series so i will continue to do that it's just legends of katsukari was a complete joke this one's very interesting though and i feel like it is already worth the six dollars just from what we've seen thus far i mean that's pretty cheap especially to put it on the switch the music everything seems very nice but yeah we're gonna go ahead and attempt to do what we need oh, oops we're gonna attempt to do that thing one more time but you know what before i do actually continue because what screwed us up was we got a key and i didn't know how to unlock it is it oh it is down here okay never mind we're good that's all we need to do so all right let's uh, be careful we don't get hit maybe kill a couple of these guys <laughs> as i say that i miss every arrow I love how it ends up shooting three at this, you know, one time. It's freaking Revali's bow, guys. All right. I need to chill, though, because I'm going to sit and lose so much HP trying to do this. Oh! Whoa. Hey, buddy. Stop. Should have left one alive, actually. Whoa! I can't leave these guys alive. They want to fight. Okay. This is a joke. <laughs> this is not good. Wait, what is down here, actually? I never checked this. Okay, I'm going to grab these. I'm going to check... And see if there's some secrets I can figure out over here. Some more HP, at least. <gasps> Ooh. No, no, wait. What does this balloon do? Oh, okay. The bubble, I called it balloon. The bubble's so weird because they go so slow that I think it's going to kill me. This is another upgrade. Yeah, I definitely need to find a checkpoint now. Because I would like to keep that with me. So, yeah. <laughs> this is just spamming every time you're far away hoping. I did damage, yes. <laughs> I mean, it works, though. So. So I don't care. Does the damage I need it to do. But alright, let's just move down. Aha, another switch. Oh! Oh, wow. That's how you get that one. I am stupid. I could have saved a long time ago. <laughs> I could have not had to redo anything. And here I am. Going to save now. Nice. Okay, that, that worked out. You know what? I might end it off here then. I really want to continue on, but we'll, we'll probably just leave it for half of this level. I think you guys got a gist of the game. You know, if you want to experience this game for yourself, you could easily yeah, just get it on the Switch. I could actually open up my home menu like this. There we go. So you could see that I'm playing it. Obviously, Breath of the Wild is my most played game. And the only one I have a cartridge of. Everything else I just downloaded. This Octopath is pretty interesting. The um, It's a Square game. I don't think it's Zelda-like, though. And then, as you can see, these are the other games I own. That's it. Not many Switch games, as you can see. So, you know, it's nice to get more in my collection. I'm excited to continue playing this one. There's not many Switch games as is. So, like I said, any new Switch game is always exciting because it means you can play a uh, really nice HD game on the go and plug it into your TV and just use the switch functionality for what it's worth. Uh, I think Skyrim, you know, I might actually replay Skyrim just for that reason because I, I could take it with me. Um, never really thought of trying it out like that. So yeah, I know Breath of the Wild alone spoiled me being able to take it with me everywhere. So it's like, I want that for every game. At first, I wasn't a fan of the Switch's design um, and obviously it not being nearly as strong as like the PS4 or the xbox one but um it's it's still worth it because it's portability um it just makes like any game on it better on the switch like sonic mania it's better on the switch even though i got it on the ps4 so i don't know where i'm going with that but i only got it on the ps4 because i don't plan on taking it with me and it's such a short game but you get what i mean like in general any game that you want to take with you better on the switch so the more the merrier Anyways, thank you all so much for watching uh, this video of, you know, uh, Kimiko uh, for Zelda-like. Let me know what other Zelda-like games you'd want me to try out. Games I haven't played, of course, and that would be fun to check out on the channel. You know, usually older ones. I don't really want to play any, like, you know, new game that's like 60 bucks. The whole point of Zelda-like is to try out older games that might have been forgotten that are cheap for anyone to pick up and play. Because, I mean, this one's really cheap. And so are pretty much every other game I've played because the majority of them have been indie, so they don't go for more than like 20 bucks. Um, except, I guess, 3D.game Hero. But you can still find that pretty cheap on Amazon. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to leave recommendations below of what game you'd like me to do this first impression Zelda like too. Any Zelda like game you feel like 
may fit or seem Zelda-like, just recommend it in the comments. And I read the comments, so I'll definitely check it out. Anyways, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!